John Franklin. And Nicole Smith. From Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Here today to show you how to grapple with a sword. Now, a sword does give you an advantage in reach, but you don't always want to use that. Any real martial artist will be able to fight in whatever distance allows them to defeat their opponent most effectively. The first part of wrestling with swords is, well, to wrestle without swords. Remember, the sword is just a tool, so if it ever comes into a disadvantageous position, just get rid of it. While dropping your sword to complete the technique is all well and good, we're guessing you came here to see sword work. Instead of meeting strength head on, sometimes it's best just to go around it. Notice how Nicole has bound my arm. I can't do much in the way of counterattacking or even defending myself. Remember when engaging your opponent's arm to move your body along with it. If you stay standing in front, bad things happen. Remember, your opponent can engage their offhand too. Now, there are techniques that you can pull off from here, but most of the time it turns into the stronger guy wins. This isn't an uncommon position for fighters to reach, and a lot of the times they just try and outmuscle each other. Looks like a badly choreographed Star Trek fight scene. As you may have guessed, if you can engage your opponent's arm from the outside, you can also engage your opponent's arm from the inside. The nice thing about binding on the inside is you create a leverage point between the arm and the hilt. Just remember to use that leverage to your advantage to break his structure. If all I do is stand in front of him with my hand on his weapon, well, I might not be able to withstand his strength. Naturally, if you get close to your opponent, there's a chance they could disarm you. And then they can just steal it right back. And if disarming or stepping around your opponent isn't your thing, you can always just run right through them. As you can see, there's a great diversity of grappling techniques with this sword. In fact, many historical masters included more grappling techniques in their manuscripts than ranged fighting techniques. And this would have been on top of the experience they would have had grappling unarmed or all they would have learned with dagger techniques. Important takeaway here is there's no such thing as sword fighting. You're fighting with a sword. Coming to the grapple wouldn't have been considered the least bit unusual. It was as much a part of fighting with a sword as a cut or a thrust. But for now, we hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about what sword fighting actually looked like.